I, I lived in uh, Holmeslack, which was uh, a stone's throw from Deepdale. Uh, and of course, as a youngster, I always wanted to play for my uh, hometown team. And uh, it was a great occasion when uh, I, got, I got a trial with them uh, through my father, who was very keen on football. And uh, uh, he, he knew Bill Scott, who was then the trainer of Preston North End. And uh, I must have told him a, a story about, you know, my, my being uh, above the average kind of thing. <laughs> and I got a trial with them. After the trial with Preston North End, I must have done reasonably well because they approached my father uh, to be a professional, well, to train as a, uh, a professional st uh, footballer uh, and uh, what, what were they called in those days as the ground staff and uh, to join the ground staff and uh, much to my uh, surprise, my father said, no, no, he's not prepared to do that. Uh, he'll play on a part-time basis and uh, do his training during the day because he's, I've got him a job uh, as a plumber now, an apprentice, which was difficult to get in those days. And, uh, and he said, you must uh, uh, serve your time as a plumber and uh, you'll always have something to fall back on. I had a really true baptism with, with my local team uh, and played in the wartime cup final at Wembley uh, and played against Eddie Hapgood, who was then the, uh, the, the present captain of the England side. So it was a great occasion for me to play there and more so, of course, to, to go on and uh, uh, draw 1-1 one, one, one with Arsenal uh, at Wembley and take them in the replay to Blackburn Rovers where we were defeated them 2-1. We, we went on, of course, to uh, in, in later years, of course, to reach the final of the FA Cup, which is, I think, every player's ambition to play at Wembley. And I wanted to play the game of my life and, and really had a shocking game. and. Uh, and uh, we lost 3-2 uh, to, to West Brom uh, in 1954. I suppose really some players would look at it and uh, they'd achieve their ambition to get to Wembley, but I wanted to win the cup and, uh, and we didn't, of course, and, and I had a most disappointing game. And that was probably the most disappointing part uh, uh, of my football career. I did win the um, Player of the Year twice in 54 and 57, uh, which was a great achievement in those days, and I was very thrilled to, to be uh, selected as the Player of the Year. During my career, uh, I went on to, uh, to play at, at Stamford Bridge against Chelsea, and, and of course the famous photograph, which has been sold on many, many occasions uh, over the years, uh, called The Splash, uh, and the, the, I believe the uh, photographer of the year, uh, got the uh, award as the, the photograph of the year, and which was a fantastic photograph and uh, and one which I, I treasure really. I really treasure the fact that the club uh, decided that they, they would make a statue uh, of of the splash, um, and that is at Deepdale at the present day, and it is seen by many many people. I, I went on to. Uh, play until I was 38 years of age, and uh, which I thought in those days was looked upon as a, a pretty special occasion. And uh, Deepdale rewarded me with the benefit game, uh, of which I had many, many famous players playing, including Stanley Matthews and quite a number of other players that, uh, well, all the top players in, in, uh, in the game at that era. People talk about present day uh, awards and, and I think I was rewarded by the club Preston North End, my only club uh, I played with. Uh, the club went on of course to name a stand after me which I feel very very proud of and uh, it's a great achievement uh, when I think of other players. I went on of course to get uh, the OBE, the CBE uh, and, and the knighthood uh, from Her Majesty the Queen and, and, and it was presented by her Majesty, and I was absolutely thrilled about that. And it was a great occasion for me and my wife to go down uh, to Buckingham Palace and have her presenting me with this award.